This is Jonathan from Grid Connect, and I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Firefly or Fireplug Bluetooth devices. Part 1 will be a simple Bluetooth pairing for 9600 baud cable replacement. Switch 4 on indicates 9600 baud. First we want the master to automatically search for and pair with the slave, and we want the slave to be discovered in Bluetooth search. We will start with the slave. We will switch switch 4 on for 9600 and 2 on to put it in discovery mode. Next we will do the master. 4 is going to be on for 9600, 3 is going to be on to make it a master, and 2 will make it automatically search for the slave. When these two devices pair, the link light will go solid. Now that these devices are paired, we want to take them out of discovery mode so they only pair with each other. Alright, first we'll do the master. Flip switch 2 to the off position. And now the slave, we will do the same thing. Part 2 of this video will explain the serial configuration. We will change the baud rate and parity. If you have an application that uses 9600 baud, then you do not need to proceed to part 2. The first step is to turn on switch 4 and all other switches off. If you are using a fire plug, then you need to plug it in at this time. You want to connect to the COM port that is associated with the Bluetooth device at 9600 using a terminal emulator such as HyperTerminal or TerraTerm. After setting up your terminal, you can now hook up your Firefly. After plugging it in, you want to send three dollar signs in the terminal. It should return CMD for command mode. The LED will also start blinking faster. Now that we are in command mode, you're going to want a list of commands that you could use. You can get this by typing H for help. It'll display your entire list. I've copied and pasted them into this text document for illustration. Now we can set up the baud rate and parity. To set the baud rate to 19.2, you're going to type in SU, 19200. It will return AOK. -okay. To change the parity to even, you would do SL, comma, E. To display that the settings have changed, just type D, and you'll see there the baud rate is 19.2 and the parity is even. This will need to be done on both devices. You could now switch 4 off for custom baud rate and put switches 2 and 3 back to their original pairing positions.